everyone and welcome to my channel. If you have not done so already, please like, share, subscribe to the bell button on ting for more notifications to see what, who, me, moi, this chick right here, this face right here. I know y'all like, hey girl, why you in the bathroom? Why don't you have that background or nothing on your microphone? Because I can, because I will, because I can stand wherever I want and do whatever video I want. Anyway, make sure you subscribe too while you at we are here today to talk about Robert, I mean Robin, from the Real Housewives of Potomac, okay? And Juan Dixon, her roommate, her husband, her fiance, whatever he is this week, I'm, I'm sure it changes about five to seven business days. We are here because the mistress done came out and she done debunked what robin had to say you know robin likes to lie baby to you and i to herself she liked to lie period but let's just talk about some things that were heavy on my heart i know some things that you guys can relate to i know we feel the same way can we talk about the lies with this mistress with robin with just the whole housewives of potomac can we just talk about the whole damn franchise please week or two it has been stated to us that Juan has been having an affair now listen if you've been following the Real Housewives of Potomac you already know Juan don't really want to be there and even when Juan is in certain scenes with Miss Robin we got to tell Juan he's present because baby he don't really want to be present we automatically knew hey your man, your pretend man, your roommate, your child's father, your husband, your soon-to-be husband, your elopement partner. We knew that he didn't really want to be there, right? We knew that he was just a placeholder. We been knew that. Like, he doesn't even come to the with her to the reunion shows. I think he's been on, like, one reunion show. But, baby, we know don't nobody sit behind Robin. Okay? But her guardian angels and ancestors, and I think even they get up. To use the bathroom, baby. We know she be there by herself. I know I had did a video, I want to say about a month ago, regarding Robin and, and, and Gizzard Neck, Giselle, the green-eyed bandits, the green-eyed turkey necks. I know that I had a whole lot to say uh, about them and the colorism, colorism issue when a housewives of Potomac. I still stand on that. Ten toes down. Nothing has changed. But this just shows why I really don't like Robin, why I really don't like Giselle. And I know that a lot of y'all gonna be windmilling in the comments, windmilling for them, and then by all means, make it respectful, please speak your please, please, please tell me your opinion. I like to hear what you got to say, but it will never move me to change how I feel because I feel the way that I feel. It is still a huge colorism on this show that I'm sure Andy is never going to touch on. Because for some reason, I personally think that somebody else should just be hosting, uh, uh, hosting these reunion shows and this should not be Andy, but that's just my opinion. No shade against him, but I just don't feel like he asked the real questions. I don't feel like he asked the questions that we really want to know the answers to. He doesn't hold their feet to the fire. He doesn't really call out shit that he really need to be calling out. And are we expecting Andy to really be well versed and really ask certain questions as it pertains to colorism? Like, y'all think he don't know what, what to ask, what to say about colorism? I earlier and I did disclose that the phone number that was shared with me because she did share the phone number I obviously can't share it on here but I did let the people on live know that I verified because I checked and it is attached to that name so I've blocked out personal information but it does link to Juan so the number she sent me in her contact seems allegedly to be wands. Here is another thread between her and I. This is not um, the woman that Karen was referring to in the latest episode. A lot of people were asking that. This is the DMs that she sent me 
this morning um, that were at the around the beginning of when they started uh, talking and linking up. Again, I blocked out personal information. Pause to read. <laughs> To see the whole video on Giorgio Says, please, uh, you can click the link in the description box below. I love Giorgio Says, and I just want to be honest. I believe Giorgio Says. I believe the mistress. I believe that the receipts are real. I'm not even going to play what the turkey necks had to say on a ashy podcast. I'm not even going to get into that. But nonetheless, Robin comes out and she says, oh, the mistress is lying. Oh, you know, she was going down there because she was seeing somebody that was playing for the Ravens. And she lost her purse at the casino and he came down there and he paid for the hotel baby you, do you really like hear yourself like you really believe this and i realized when robin the liar dixon when she starts lying i don't know if it's just me that noticed that she really starts fumbling on her words and it really just the sentences really just don't don't make sense and i don't even think she believes what she's saying and i ultimately think like if you're going to lie rehearse your lies make sure that the lies make sense even to you if to nobody else make sure they make sense to you and i don't even think the lies make sense to her so she's saying that the mistress is like listen i don't believe that first of all hotels to rent a room you have to put up your credit card and they automatically charge the credit card on file. But let's just say that what Robin is saying is the quote unquote truth, which I doubt. I mean, please. Anybody could tell it's a goddamn lie. Um, maybe this is something that Juan told her. Even then, as a woman, as a married woman, as just a woman in general with intuition, baby, you know this don't make sense. You you know this don't make sense. I mean, I'm no, I'm no detective, you know, I'm no, I'm no law and order SVU, but I know that this doesn't make any sense, right? So you mean to tell me she's dating someone for the Ravens and she couldn't call the guy that she's seeing. She couldn't call any man that she happened to be seeing in the States because she, we know that she's from Cali she's from Canada. She called your man. And he came down to put his credit card down and leave a receipt, your man, without telling you first. And you want me to believe that he wasn't anywhere at that hotel with her. But obviously they were in serious contact and obviously they were really close friends or in close proximity to each other for him to even feel comfortable to come down there. So they had a whole deep friendship, enough for him to put his credit card down during the pandemic. Enough for him to put his credit card down. So they had this close friendship that you knew nothing about. And you married this man anyway? I mean, that's your business. That's your business. But I'm just saying, it, it sounds like a lie. It smells like a lie. And it sounds like a lie. What really gets me and what really bothers me is the simple fact that you and the miserable green eyed half of your other twin, uh, Glizzy, y'all spent this season and even last season, let's even go back to last season, like, or the season before that, whenever Monique left, y'all spent time after time shaming and throwing other married women under the bus. Okay, starting rumors about Monique and her marriage. Let's just start there because that's where it started for me. Basically trying to get her off the show so you can stir up trouble and, and, and stir up issues, right? So that you can be the, at the starting lineup, basically. So, okay, so she got off the show. Then, beautiful, beautiful Wendy, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous family. You pick a fight with her because she decides to have a bo her body done. And you make it seem like her husband was cheating. Then you turn around and you start fucking around with Candace. 
in her marriage making it seem like Chris Bassett did something crazy to you when survey says nothing was found nothing was found that man didn't do nothing to you y'all purposely stir up trouble it goes back to my other video because y'all some hating that it, it, it HOE -E 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 y'all some haters so it's like let's deflect on our issues was really going on with us was really going on in our personal lives and let's create false storylines let's create tension with the other women that are actually in healthy marriages because we don't want to tell our business number one i think that robin should be fired Number two or demoted because, but I know, I have a feeling that that's not what Andy is going to do. I have a feeling, once again, not holding their feet to the fire. Like, come on, they're not going to go, he's not going to take the same route he did with Kenya, same route he did with Nene, same route he's done with Mariah, with various women on the franchise. I know that he is not going to hold them accountable and they need to be held accountable. This is called reality TV. This is not, okay, let's create a fake, fake storyline. Let's create fake gossip. And this is not even gossip. This is borderline terrible because you almost, you could have really gotten Chris Bassett in a whole lot of trouble, right? Putting it, making it seem like it was some like, um, 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 essay situation um making it seem like he violated you which which really is triggering for actual victims actual survivors um who were actually put in harmful situations like y'all playing with people's lives here y'all playing with people's marriages when you literally had a whole storyline you could have presented to the public you could have said listen i'm gonna stand by my man i'm gonna stick beside him okay your damn bedazzled, bejeweled, believable hats could have been flying off the shelf with your storyline. And you could have came out successful on the end of that storyline. But no, you chose to throw other women under the bus to make yourself feel good, to make yourself look good. Picking fights with Wendy. Why? Because of colorism the whole time. Why Nisi Sithimo was over here cheating. Juan was over here cheating behind you. Well, in your face. Because you admitted you knew about the mistress. Now, this is what really, this is what gets me about a lot of you. I want to say married women. I'm, I'm a married woman. But I, I feel like it's a lot of married women or women in long-term relationships. Women in long-term situationships. Women that live with men, that men that are just like in long-term relationships or even marriages. This is what gets me about some of y'all women. It's not even so much single women. It's some of y'all women, married women or long-term relationship women, right? Who think that this is what gets me about y'all. Y'all sit here time after time with egg on your face. Y'all allow these men to to cheat on you multiple times cheat on you to like, listen if if you want to take your man back that's on you who am i to tell you to not take your man back it's your relationship but this is my thing if you're going to take him back time after time after time stop getting and then it blows up in your face and your family find out the world find out stop getting on front street painting this picture and painting this narrative of, of your man as something that he absolutely is not okay no 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 he is not an upstate he is a cheater and that's okay if you choosing to forgive him that's your man and you gonna stick beside him stand on that stand ten toes on that why are you do you you painting this false narrative for the people when we all know the truth you're painting this man to be a picture perfect person. Mind you, he's putting you out on front street to take the heat. He's not standing beside you. He's not taking ownership. You ain't never going to see him take responsibility. Then y'all want to turn around and blame the many other women that, and call them liars and hold their feet to the fire. And the whole time the man is just going to continue to cheat on you. And you're going to continue to walk around with egg on your 
face instead of just saying yes this is what my man did I'm going to stick beside him. I'm going to forgive my man. And this that's just what it is. I would respect a woman that took that route, even though that's not a route I would take. Instead of painting your man to be this upstanding citizen that we know he is not. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the DMs. The proof is in the receipts. Y'all want to paint this narrative. And then the minute that we don't Follow these stupid stories that you want to feed people. Follow this stupid narrative, this stupid picture you want to paint of your cheating ass man. You mad at us. You saying it's us. Ma'am, the call is coming from inside the house. And it is your man that you need to be held, that needs to be held accountable. Not the other woman. Not us. We just looking at the damn receipts. Give them to us. And I don't understand that. I can respect the woman that says he cheated and I'm going to stand beside him. He cheated. We're going to therapy. He's going to see that lady next week. He's going to see the lady next week. Like, I can understand a woman that says that instead of coming around and came up with these weird stories. Ma'am, it's a lie. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to us. And one thing I'm not going to let nobody do is play in my face. Just keep it real. Just be honest. My mom always said, listen, you ain't the first one and you ain't going to be the last one. It's happened to all of us in one way or another. You ain't the only one that's been cheated on or been put in a situation. Now, she handled, some of y'all be handling these situations different than I would. But everyone's marriage, everyone's relationship is different. But I don't, I don't respect women that choose to go that route. I just don't respect it. I honestly and truly do not respect it. Keep it real. To not keep it real to yourself means you okay in that man to do it to you and again. And if you like it, I love it. But don't play in my face. Don't lie to me. Because I ain't got to sleep. I actually had to subscribe to Carlos King's um, YouTube channel. But I'm just saying, Carlos, now listen. It just said everything I needed to say. No, but I'm just saying, Carlos, like, listen. They knocking down buildings and shit and I'm making a video. I have I have some issues with Carlos King a little bit too. Now, I, I love me some Carlos. I do, don't nobody talk bad about Carlos. And I love how he handled this past reunion. But let's just be honest. If, 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 if. Destiny, Destiny comes back this season. A hypocrite much, Carlos, baby. A little bit. I mean, you're doing the same thing Andy is doing in real life, in real time. Like, come on. Marceau and them, they don't, they don't, they whole storyline is built around Melanie. Like, they're not keeping it real either. Like, we know a lot of these reality stars do not be telling their whole business. We be finding out their business on the back end. But I do think in that instance, if you're on a reality show, like, we know a lot of that is not reality. But come on, we want to see your life. You get paid to show your life. You get paid to show your business. And if you're not going to show or tell us your business, then you need to not be on a reality show. Chick-fil-A hiring, Walmart hiring, you can open up your own business. Like you don't have to be on a reality show. Nobody is forcing you to. But if you are and you do sign a contract, you have a certain responsibility that you need to uphold. Anyway, I still don't have it for Robin. I still don't have it for Glizzy. I still don't have it for the Green Eyed Turkey Necks. I think that they are fake. And I think that if people don't really call them out on their mess, they're just going to keep doing it. And you know what's going to happen? Less and less people are going to be watching. I think this season of Housewives of Potomac was trash. Thank God for our... Lovely Karen, baby. That spilled the beans. The editing was superb and top-notch, but I think overall it was trash. It was full of colorism. It was full of fakeness, full of hatred, full of unnecessary drama. Mia, child, don't get me started on Mia. 
You calling everybody out and picking fights with everybody, but you slept with a whole married man. Anyway, y'all, let me go, because this should really be... You be giving me a receipt and headline, y'all. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the bell button for more notifications. Thank you for watching. Comment below and let me know what you think about the Housewives of Potomac. If you haven't watched it yet, please go ahead and do so. Shout out to Carlos King. Shout out to Giorgio Says. <sighs> I gotta go. Bye.